to break out of a rut? There are plenty of countries where $1,000 a month will buy you food, housing, adventures, and a whole new look at the world. A lot of people haven't traveled enough to figure that out, so I always advise doing kind of a trial run, going somewhere for longer than a week, and just really checking it out. Travel writer Tim Leffel, author of A Better Life for Half the Price, told us about three countries you can call home for a bargain price. First up, Nicaragua. If you're looking in Latin America, Nicaragua would probably be the cheapest overall but it's a country that has decent roads, decent infrastructure, and it's not that hard to get to, it's fairly close. A place where you can rent an apartment or house for you know, a decent amount, let's say two or three hundred dollars, your groceries aren't expensive, healthcare is reasonable. Like world-class surf spots, excellent food, inexpensive drinks, and plenty of outdoor entertainment? Nicaragua could be your nirvana. And there's incredible adventure there and, and not a lot of uh, tourists <laughs> to contend with. I mean, there's some, but if you wanted to go hiking or rafting or uh, go exploring on the Corn Islands, which are in the Caribbean, you're not gonna run into tens of thousands of other tourists while you're doing it. With ecotourism, colonial cities, and a growing infrastructure, Nicaragua has a ton to offer anyone relocating. If Europe is more your style, then Greece's next door neighbor is your best bet, Bulgaria. It's so cheap to buy a house there that you can find them on eBay, you know, for less than 20,000, sometimes less than 10. For the kind of money you would pay in small town USA for a condo, you could buy a penthouse in a beautiful building in the capital city of Sofia. They have really good food there. It's kind of farm to table. There's a lot of hiking, there's skiing in the winter, and plus you're close to a lot of other places in Europe and you can get cheap inner city flights and train rides. And their currency is basically tagged to the Euro and the Euro is quite favorable. This exotic country on the Black Sea has a tremendous history with a wide range of lifestyle opportunities for any expat. Finally, let's head to Southeast Asia and the temple hub of the world, Cambodia. The really big advantage is you can get a business visa for a year and you just pay for it. And they don't restrict you in terms of working or starting a business. There are some uh, nice beaches and islands down to the south. Uh, there are lots and lots of great ruins to explore. Of course, Angkor Wat being the most famous. There is some uh, jungle hiking there and adventure. Around the capital, three to five hundred dollars is normal for rent. But outside the city, you can get a sweet three to four bed bedroom beach house for 500 bucks or a nice westernized apartment with appliances, swimming pool and parking spots. Expanding your horizons and stretching your dollars on the top of the list.